Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is November 12th, and right now we are looking at the infrared satellite imagery. There's the state of California. Now if I scroll out to the northwest a little bit here, you'll see this very potent storm moving towards Pacific Northwest. This is also going to cast a fairly powerful frontal system across some portions of northern California. It may reach as far south as the Bay Area. Got some mountain snows and some very cold air aloft is going to be working its way down across a lot of the state as we go through the upcoming week and towards the weekend. We'll take a look at those details. We'll take a look at the extended forecast as well because it looks like some colder air is going to spill out over the Pacific Ocean here and we may change the pattern a bit here. So instead of getting some of these inside sliders, we're going to try to develop some storms off through the extended forecast. We'll take a glance at that. We'll kind of monitor that over the next week or so. But if we take a look at what was going on yesterday, you can see at the very uh, beginning of this loop, you can see that frontal system We're losing its punch as it moves down across some of the San Joaquin Valley and kind of moving into the higher terrain there. And then we scroll on in through uh, very early this morning here. And, and you can see as we the sun rises across the area, the next frontal system is out here spreading its cloud shield towards the state of California. We actually have some low clouds out there, probably some reduced visibilities and reduced ceilings there across the San Joaquin and some of the Sacramento Valley this morning. Not much of a marine layer to speak of across Southern California. California right now though if we take a look at what is to come so this is this morning's European model so as we go on it towards tomorrow morning you'll see very early it starts across Northwest California then it starts to march down across the region here the mountain snow start to fly as we go through Wednesday and Wednesday night frontal system loses its punch that moves south but we've got this cold air mass aloft moving down across the region that could help trigger some higher elevation <coughs> precipitation maybe even some snowfall for uh, the higher terrain there the transverse range and of course for the Sierra Nevada and then the system will be with us a bit as we go through the week and then that will clear out and then I'll start to show you coming up here what is likely to come through the extended forecast so if you've been watching this channel for any length of time you know I like to show you visual representations of what is going on in upper levels of the atmosphere it is a three-dimensional atmosphere after all and if we take a look at this frontal system, you can clearly see the colder air aloft arriving with it as we go through the day Wednesday. And then look at this polar lobe just kind of taking its swing at California. But it still mostly resembles an inside slider, meaning it's not got a lot of moisture to work with here. But it's going to be pretty chilly in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So it will bring some gusty winds with it and some precipitation for the higher terrain. And as you can see, as we go through very early Sunday morning, that system finally starts to kick out of here. Now, a high surf advisory is in effect here all the way on and through tonight and this goes through this morning through tonight 22 foot breakers for west and northwest beach scene beaches and this goes all the way from northern california all the way down towards point conception for some places of the central coast of california almost down to southern california and with the king tides kind of coinciding they're starting to rise right now i know the peak is i think 15 16 17th and maybe the 18th the tides are elevated now and they'll probably and they will remain so until the 20th so uh, this increased wave action just increases that risk of sort of beach erosion and for wave wave sweeping up over a lot of the entire beaches the jetties outcroppings and whatnot so don't turn your back on the ocean be prepared for that if you're going out to the coast here over the next week or so and we got high winds coming in here, or at least strong winds. And this goes through uh, about Wednesday p.m. But you can see uh, places like Crescent City and Collier Tunnel there, 40 miles per hour, Shelter Cove 41. It's going to be stronger on some of the exposed areas of the coastal regions and some of the higher ridges also, uh, including the Sierra Nevada. We've got some wind advisories for there. I'm going to show you in a minute. But taking a look here, uh, some pretty good rains. Look at Eureka, two to three as we go through uh, the end of the week coming up. Red Bluff between half an inch and an inch. You can see Sacramento, the Bay Area, a bit less some of the northern Sierra Nevada get some decent amounts and the snow level starting around 5,500 to 6,500 feet will be lowering as we go through Friday morning although the precipitation won't be quite as heavy we'll still have some of the snow showers around by the time we go towards Friday morning now Thunderstorm potential Thursday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Typical thunderstorm hazards does include the Bay Area here. And again, this is for Thursday and basically the entire day includes Redding, Chico, Yuba City, Sacramento, Stockton, and just north of Modesto. So don't, can't roll one out down there as well. Storm timeline. This is for you know, starting yesterday all the way through the 16th. And it kind of shows you here that Thursday, Friday, more significant precipitation with greater snow impacts. And again, some of those low, lower snow levels showing up there on Friday morning. High surf advisory. You can see it go all the way down the Bay Area, Santa Cruz, Big Sur, all the way past Gorda and down towards Point Conception, all the way again until on the day Wednesday. Watch out for your children and your pets if you're going out to the coastal areas. Now, 
Los Angeles National Weather Service. You can see that high surf advisory come down there. Still some wind advisories in effect. You can see this goes isolated 60 miles per hour. Montecito Hills possible until about noon today. So that is wrapping up. And then we're going to pick up the winds a little bit again here as we bring that next frontal system down. Um, taking a look at that, the wind speeds, this is 80 meters just off the surface. We've got Southern California here. There's Northern California. You can see Lake Tahoe. Uh, you can see we're going to be wrapping up those winds here as we go through the day today for some of Southern California. But there still be gusty across some of the higher trade. You can see it does turn a little bit offshore, in fact, as we go on in through tonight. You see a little bit of easterly component coming across the peninsula range there. And you also see that frontal system as we go through tomorrow morning, bringing the gusty southerly winds out ahead of that. Starts to lose a lot of it's punched those it moves down the state but look at across the sierra nevada you're getting the strong southwesterly winds as we go through the day wednesday that's why there's wind advisories out here across some of those areas and then you can kind of see that northwest flow some cooler air a lot will be ushering in and that's why the snow levels are going to be lowering by friday morning now I do want to show you the wave map here because, like I mentioned, we have the enhanced tide activity over the next week or so, and you can clearly see some of these larger waves propagating down the state of California. We do get tiny bits of break action there, but but look at by the time we go towards Thursday, another slug of waves moving into the state. So be prepared for that. We've got this wave action that's going to be going on as we go all the way on into towards the early portion of next week. And of course, with the king tides, that can really cause some issues uh, for places right up against the water. Now, taking a look at the uh, European, this one's hot off the press of the 12Z run. Here's our next frontal system rolling in here, and you can kind of see it gets reinforced and drops down that chilly air mass across much of the state of California. Still resembles that inside slider, though. However, uh, watch what happens when you go through the extended a little bit further. You can see another strong system here, maybe clipping northern portions as we go on in through the weekend into early portions the next week. But look at this cold air spill out over the Pacific Ocean. We could get some more interesting uh, systems out here, and mid-latitude cyclones could be making a visit here towards the state of California. It's fantasy forecast right now, but it continues to be shown in these weather models. So we're going to continue to break that down day by day, if that, if that is the case. Now, same weather map here. Let me update this. We have all the most recent information. This is uh, the European model. This one is hot off the press. This one is running actively as we speak. Here goes uh, Wednesday morning's frontal system here, losing its punch again as it gets past the Bay Area. But then that colder air drops down across the region. And if you look closely, you can see how some of that precipitation is there for the transverse rains, the Sierra Nevada, and even some of the Peninsula range in Southern California, some of the higher terrain could be getting a few inches of snow out of that. And you see that one takes its time getting out of here. Another strong frontal system for the Pacific Northwest will be impacting portions of Northern California. We'll revisit that here in upcoming days. And then we start to look out across the Pacific as you see that. Look at this deep low out here, 967 millibar low. Frontal system extending all the way down towards the Hawaiian Islands. And this may develop some systems that try to pay a visit to California. You can see some of this interesting weather here coming off the Pacific Ocean, maybe paying us a visit. Fantasy land right now, but it's something we'll be watching again, like I mentioned. Total snow ratio, uh, Kuchera ratio. So I, I do want to point this out. As we go on in through uh, Friday, you can see some of that snow even across some of the Southern California to uh, higher terrain there. So again, um, Sierra Nevada's under the gun here as we go through the upcoming week as well. So just a heads up there, you know, pay attention to your local forecast and watch out for this activity. Again, the bulk of this probably falling as we go through the day Thursday on into Friday morning. Now, I mentioned this yesterday about some high pressure setting up as we go off into the extended. It's still kind of showing that a bit here. So you can see as this frontal system moves through the Pacific Northwest as we go through the week and notice the high pressure building in behind that across the Intermountain West and the Great Basin. That can help drive some offshore winds. We're watching this one, but it's still a ways out in the forecast. Just something to kind of keep in the back of your mind at this point. Here's the 6 to 10 day below normal here across much of the West. And look at California. This is not a temperature forecast. This is just a percentage chance if you look down to the bottom right of being below normal during this time frame which is november 17th through the 21st so you can see we're doing pretty good a 70 to 80 percent chance of below normal temperatures for this area for example and six to ten day kind of includes some portions of california there but yeah next frontal system is up probably headed out to the coastal regions here today if you didn't hear there was a tornado on the oregon coast there yesterday did a bit of damage probably another tornado threat for some of the storms that come down across northern california uh, 
tomorrow and maybe on in through Thursday could be rotating as well. Week or brief tornadoes or water spouts or funnel clouds cannot be ruled out with that activity. So I'm probably headed out there today and maybe tomorrow to go ahead and chase some of this stuff. So I may be live streaming on the Pacific Northwest Weather Watch page for that. But otherwise, hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again potentially tomorrow. There's a chance I may not do a briefing tomorrow if, uh, you know, depending on how the live stream goes and how the chase goes up there. But otherwise, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and if not, definitely by Thursday.